Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, they started out as a fundraising option, and it's now a place where they roast their own coffee. Debbie is here from Creative Coffees, Rotisserie, and they're talking a little bit about... <laughs> Rotisserie. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> we don't have chicken. Roastery. Roastery, <laughs> rotisserie is where you put the chickens. chickens. That's right. Yes, Thank you. That's right. Well, you could do chickens now. I could, but I don't want anything else cook to do. You need She's to cook I a have chalk. enough on my plate. Oh my I'm good with the I'm coffee. So sorry, Debbie. <laughs> okay, talk to me a little bit about how you first started in business because it's a little industry. Well, I've always been the professional booster mom of everything my kids did. Mm -hmm. um, so when my youngest was in the chorus, which we call a choir, not the chorus. Um, I call a choir, you call a chorus. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> to each their own. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> right. Rotisserie, uh, rotisserie. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you feel like today. So anyway, we, there was a coffee roaster in Winchester at the time yeah. that's not there anymore. And they helped us set up a private label so that we did cardinal coffee on a red bag and it featured, you know, the school and the school spirit. Yeah. And that's what the name of my business was, School Spirit Coffee. Like this is a Pope ba baseball team. I don't know if you can see it. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll just leave that there and I'll grab a shot of it. Okay. Um, so schools from all over the U.S., we have fundraisers in every state, can send us their logo, choose from eight different color bags, and we private label oh. it. And then they sell from a brochure um, that has coffees. We have two teas. Oh, You'll what's be glad on the to tea, know. Darling? We have a rooibos and a Norfolk English breakfast tea. Mm, yum. A rooibos is a naturally decaf. Okay, now you mentioned that schools can do their own coffee. It is almost school season, almost that booster mom is getting in gear. How can we use this as a fundraising tool? You go to schoolspiritcoffee.com. Okay. And that is our fundraising website. Okay. We have two websites one for creative coffees and one for school spirit coffee. And school spirit coffee, there's a little bar at the top that says get started okay and so oh, yeah. all you have to do is fill out the form that says get started we confirm that we've received that you want to do our fundraiser send you the artwork guidelines which are really uh, remedial okay we don't have any um, high-tech graphics but we have we print everything in-house okay and well so I don't expect that since you're a rotisserie <laughs> <laughs> I mean he's not I'm out in chicken barns all the time <laughs> Well, my yeah. nonna owned a, a poultry farm. Oh, well. Yeah. That's so that's awesome. why I had chicken on the brain. That's awesome. Anyway, oh I do want to ask you, so you're not open, you're not a coffee shop, are you? We are not. So you, I don't want to say you're not open to the public. Right. Because you sort of are. We are open to the public. Yeah. Every weekday from 8 until 4, you can walk in and purchase our coffee. Yeah. But from School Spirit Coffee, what happened was, and that started that in 2005, in 2009, I realized that the coffee roaster that I was using wasn't keeping up with me. Mm. And if I say something's going to roast or going to ship, it's going to ship. Right. So you're one of those women, aren't you? Yeah. You're on, on it. Boat. You're well, she was a booster mom. Yeah. I'm the booster mom. You have mom. to be that. Yeah. Okay, I yes. got you. So I, uh, my husband and I went to Clearwater, Florida and learned how to roast and bought yeah. a roaster and set it up in Winchester on North Main Street. Yeah, right. And that was in 2009. So since then... We've grown so that we can do restaurants and office coffee and, um, you know, we could have the coffee here at your offices yes, if you like. Yes. That's nice. And for somebody, I don't drink a ton of coffee, but when I do, I want something, I'm not, I'm not very well versed in coffee, so I want something, you know, that it has a lot of flavor, that um, is locally, like that is great to me that you guys are local. What does an average cup of coffee oh, require? Yeah. Like, what do I do to, to do this when I get home? Well, when you get home, well, there's several ways that at home you can make coffee. Okay. Don't and put it in with the chicken. Don't put it in with don't chicken. Don't put it in with chicken. No you can eat it with chicken. Okay, check, check. But we sell it uh, by the pound okay. or the 12 ounce, okay. however much. And you can make it in your single, uh, in like a 12 pot brew. Okay. Like a Mr. Coffee. I don't do anything yeah. fancy, you know. Yes. But then the K cups. Are oh, you guys so K popular. We What's bought a, a machine. <laughs> no a K way. cup is. Um, Can I have a look at this while you're sure, chatting? Sure. Yeah. It's a single serve oh. uh, brewer. So you just pop the pod in oh. and you can make. Oh. That is huge because we have a Keurig. It's actually 35% of the market now. Yeah. Is it? Yes. So when you order, um, you can get. Any of our coffees. I was going to ask that. So all flavors cups. come in the mm -hmm. K cups. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, that's great. This is a snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle oh. is a cinnamon hazelnut. That's right up oh, my I'm, alley. Oh, really? Yes. So, but I don't have a Kroger. Uh, what is it? A cinnamon. 
No, the machine. Oh, the uh, uh, Keurig. A Keurig. 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 I'm Keurig. like a Kroger. I don't know what that, we but I Keurig. have an espresso. Do I have an espresso in the, my machine? The pie's what do there. I have, Dusty? I've got a, an espresso. <laughs> So this won't fit in there. It's a different type of pod for the Nespresso. Sorry. But All right, my darling. If you want to find out more information <laughs> on how you can be an incredible fundraiser like yes. this lady right here, Creative Coffee Roastery, everyone, <laughs> not a rotisserie, um, there it is all up on the screen now.